Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create internal DNS using Synology's DNS server. So in a recent video, I showed you how to set up a DNS forwarding server using a Synology NAS. Today, we're going to take a look at how to create a zone and a couple of A records so that we can access our internal devices easily. So let's take a look at this sample network diagram. It consists of a router, switch, access point, a couple of mobile devices, a computer, and a couple of servers, in particular a NAS, a PBX server, and a Plex server. Now, Without internal DNS, you would have to remember each device's IP address in order to access and manage it. With DNS internally, you can use a user-friendly name such as nas.yourdomain.com or plex.yourdomain.com. So I'm going to show you how to set this up internally using Synology's DNS server. So let's get started with the process. All right, guys, so I'm signed into my Synology NAS. I have the DNS server launched. Now, if you need a refresher on how to get to this part, check out the video I did on DNS forwarding. I believe I put the link to that earlier in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have the zones selected in the left window pane. From there, we're going to click on the create button and we're going to select master zone. Here we get the information to enter for creating our master zone. So the domain type is it's going to be a forward zone the domain name for this example, I'm going to use quicktechsolutions.com. You could use your own domain name, or for that matter, you could just put in mydomain.com. Let's do that instead. We'll call it mydomain.com. And here, master DNS server, here's where you put in the IP address of the Synology NAS. Okay. Once that information is entered, all we have to do is leave everything else set to the default for now. That would be okay. And click on the OK button. And there you have the forward zone that you just created called mydomain.com or in your case, whatever you name your domain. So let's start creating some A records. So let's double click. And you can see here that that process created an NS record and an A record pointing to the address of the Synology NAS. So let's just say at this point we want to create a record that helps us get to our router. So instead of typing in the IP address, let's just say we want to type in router.mydomain.com. Here's how we do it. Let's click on create and we're going to select a type and it fills in the rest of the domain. So here is what you're going to call uh, your sub part of the domain. So we're going to call this router and then it'll be mydomain.com. And down here where it says the IP address, you're going to enter the IP address of your router. So that will be 192.168.25.1. In my case, of course, you will enter your information here and then click OK. And now we have that A record selected. Let's um, put in one more A record. We had in that diagram, not only the router, but we had, let's say, a PBX server in that illustration. So let's create another A type record. And I'm just going to call it PBX. And then dot mydomain.com. And the IP address of the PBX on this network is 40.109. Whatever server you're setting up this A record for, you would put in that internal IP. Let's click OK. And that should be good for now. We have two A records created. Let's click on Finish. And now let's open up a new tab. And let's go to router.mydomain.com. And see what happens. And there you go. It's bringing me to the uh, notification. I'm just going to say advanced and I'm going to proceed to router.mydomain.com. And there's the login page for my um, edge router. Okay, let's go back up and let's change router to PBX and it should take me to the PBX page. And 
again, we'll click on advanced. And there's the sign in page for my free PDFs. So to summarize what we did in that last segment, we created a master zone, the type was forward, and we created two A records, one pointing to the IP address of the router and one pointing to the IP address of the PBX server. Now, what do we mean by forward? Well, if you brought up a terminal window and you did an NS lookup for the domain name that you created, it should return the associated IP address. So let's take a look and give that a try. Let's bring up a terminal window, let's do an NS lookup for the router.mydomain.com. And you can see the Synology server returned router.mydomain.com at the address of 192.168.25.1. Likewise, if we did an NS lookup for the PBX, we should also get the results pbx.mydomain.com located at the address of 192.168.40.109. So there you go, guys. It's a pretty simple process to run your own basic internal DNS server, especially um, if you have a Synology NAS. You could utilize that built-in feature just by installing the uh, DNS server utility. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other links up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share and use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.